Wow. That is unbelievable there. We're headed to an old ghost town. We call it the secret place. And the last time I came down here and hunted with him, or I should say the first time I came down here and hunted with Terry, I uh, literally pulled up, we got into his side-by-side, -side, we rode across this pasture, and I stepped off the side-by-side. -side. About five minutes later, I dug an 1858 Real. I'll put a picture of that up, a picture that he took of me finding that. About five minutes later, I dug an 18, I believe it was a 53 Trime. And about five minutes later, or 10 minutes later, I dug a uh, shield nickel. Just three great finds in a row. And we only had about 30 minutes of daylight. And I got all that in in 30 minutes of daylight. My trip was done then. And woke up the next day, we went out hunting again. And uh, lo and behold, I dug an 1848 seeded dime. And uh, they have been digging up half dimes and other, other um, great coins and so I'm hoping that's going to be the case in this trip as well and so we're getting close we're fixing to go hunt this afternoon then all day tomorrow so anyway I'm almost there next time I turn the camera on we'll be swinging some detectors and see if we can't find some great coins so let's do it let's go have some fun Fifty-eight, oh, seventy-eight. Like got a good. got a button over here yes. with a uh, eagle on it. We're gonna go over here and see what he's got. Let's go see. All right, he's got it out. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a two-piece. At that. Yeah, the back is really good. Little dimple in the front. Looks like a large shield with an eagle landing on top of that possibly stars all the way around hmm I'm not sure I've ever seen one like it I haven't seen one like that either let's clean it up just a little bit and then we'll come back and get a close-up there we go start recording well that looks like it's got a shield on it I can't really make that out we're about to that's what have stars around it So it's got wording right down there. Here's a close-up. There's an eagle sitting on top of a shield with stars all the way around and it has wording like Exelor or something. We can't make it out quite yet. We'll have to look that up. There's probably something inside that shield too. That's a nice find, Terry. Find of the day. Find of the day. This is Keith right here. It's one of my friends down here in uh, Cuero. Got our drone above head. He just called me over. And look what he dug out. 1858 seated half dime. Boy, old mint mark too. What was it ringing up on your uh, detector? Uh, 24. 24, and you're hunting with the Equinox? Equinox, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful too. Look at that. Just came right out of the ground. Perfect. Let me switch cameras and get a close-up. I know it. That is a beautiful coin right there. 1858 half dime. Uh, this is Anita. She's out here digging with us today. And she found this nice little, uh, got a star? Looks like a maybe a belt plate or something. <coughs> Excuse me. It's, uh, it's a nice find. Well, good. Way to go. <laughs> All right, Terry's got a good 79 to 80 signal here. It sounds very good. It's right there. Let's see if I got it. There it is. There. Well, it's not going to be a dumb. But it is going to be a button. Nice. 
I think you got a Texas button. That's what I want. I think. And it looks different too. Let's clean this up and we'll get a better close up to it. We've got it cleaned up. And it says cadet on the bottom and TMI on the top. And what we're thinking, this is a uh, a school based out of San Antonio, a Corps of Cadet School, in which we're not too far from San Antonio. But we're not certain yet on a positive identification. We've got to get the back mark, and we believe it's going to be late 1890s. But it could be something else. We're not sure what TMI stands for yet. But that is a nice button. I was getting a pretty decent signal here, and uh, we're out here at night hunting out in this field. And uh, I got this tone, and I know you can't see it here. Uh, I'm going to do my best to show this to you. Um, I, it's a around this is what I what I saw and when I flipped it over is that what I think it is folks it is it is oh my goodness oh my goodness oh I cannot believe this do y'all see that let me put some brighter light on Terry, come over here. That is a breastplate, eagle breastplate, folks. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that on the light or not. But that's what that is. Wow. That is unbelievable there. Oh, it's, it's, all, it's the lead part. It's all the lead. Let me see if I can clean it up a little bit better and get on a, another, get my other camera. Y'all see the eagle there? Now this is just the lead part. Uh, it doesn't have any brass on it. But that is the eagle. This is my first target. You can tell, look, we're just out in the pitch black in this field. I walked maybe 100 feet. This was my first target. Wow. That is amazing there. That is a fine. That's what I came down here for right there. Oh, there may be more out here. Let's keep going. All right. I'm excited now. Here's a little bit better picture of it. Close up with the light on the angle there. You can see that. Wow, this is great. This is awesome. Best find I've ever had out here. That's on the bucket list right there. Well, I had a very, about a number 11 on my detector. Very shallow. Popped it out. It's going to be a cuff button. Let me uh, get my other camera and we'll clean this up and we'll get a close up and see what it is. If it's a, a great seal or is it a, a, a Civil War period. Hey, this is going to be a Civil War period uh, cuff button. I dug a uh, World War I one earlier. Still has the shank on it. I can't get a bat mark off of it. But there's the eagle looking right. She'll probably clean up a little bit better. Alright, that's a good find. Let's keep on going. Alright, they're calling me over. They got something over here. Let's see what we got. Alright. Praise God. We have a seated half dime. I mean, a seated dime. 1860. 1860. Wow. Congratulations, Tracy. Thank you, sir. Signal here. Just underneath, we did another scrape here and ringing up like a 28 on the Equinox. And it's uh, going to be a part of a powder flask. It's got some fancy on it. May have an eagle on it. Let me clean it up and get a close up. All right, this powder flask is going to have cross pistols on it with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or so stars. Another design underneath the stars, you can't really tell. Then two designs right here. Looks like an eagle's wings. Looks like it's going to be an eagle's wings with a cannon on the bottom. And then an anchor. It's something else. I'll see if I can't get a non-dug example of this. 
and maybe put it right beside it right there that's a nice little find all right let's keep going finally got out here I've been wanting a coin I've just been praying all day for a coin and I finally got one it's ringing up like a 20 on my Equinox and it's still in the plug check that out <coughs> there it is right there there it is half dime oh my check that out beautiful Wow, I don't even want to pluck it out. I just want to leave it where it's at. Okay. Take some pictures of it. No, I'm going to take it home with me. I'm going to take it home. Check that out. That's all I wanted. I'll tell you what. Here. Rang up a good solid 20. Let me get my other camera and get a close-up. There it is, folks. Close-up. Half dime. Let's see. Uh, anybody want to take a guess on the year? Let's see what it is. 1840. 1840. I did. 1845. My first one was 1851. 1851. Oh, it's an 18. Is that 39? All right. Dave, he got it. If I'm the closest, do I get it? 1839. That's almost a cat bust. A couple more years, that would have been a cat bust. Let me get some. This calls for holy water. Yeah, let's get a little holy water. Out. We always got to break out the holy water. Let's see what uh, date we got. That looks like 1839. 1839 seated half dime. I got a good 2021 signal right here. Great tone. And uh, thought it was a piece of trash at first, but check this out. Check this out. I've never dug one of these. I've dug a different type of one. Look at that. You know what that is? That is a Silver War era heel plate. That's the clover. I have the star and I have the heart. This is the first time I ever got the clover. Check it out. First target. All right. Maybe this is a sign that good things are coming. I'm excited now. Woohoo! I was getting a 14, 15 on my, my Equinox. And I've got another great find. It's been about five minutes since I found that hill plate. Check this out, guys. Right here. I don't know. That's a script something. Let me clean it up and get a close-up on my other camera. What I've got here is a script A button i'm not gonna be able to get a back mark off of it it's pretty corroded i might can get some of that off once i get back to the house but just infield cleaning here all right i've got a clover heel plate and a script a button and i'm not maybe 20 feet apart from one another so far i've been here 30 minutes doing well i don't know what nugget noggins got and got two other guys terry and james is hunting with us and i don't know if they found anything yet but wow i'll take that any day. I don't have a script A, but now I do. Cha-ching! Now this script A, I was talking to Nugget Noggin, he was telling me that this is a rare button, that this is a Confederate States button. Confederate artillery, yeah. Confederate artillery. And uh, I looked up the value of it last night, and what I saw was anywhere from 300 to $350 button. Now this may be an iron back because it has a lot of the iron on the back, it's not a brass back. But still, the front is in great condition. Well, that's a nice find there. Real? Oh, yeah, I know it's real. Nugget just dug a 1853. With arrows, old mint mark, half dime. Old mint mark, half dime. Wow. He thinks that I planted it because I played a joke on him the other day. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't. This is legit fine, man. Congratulations, brother. Yeah. Legit fine, 1853. I told you you get yeah. something 1850, didn't I? Oh, I made my hunt. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, there's more to get, man. Let's get more. Let's All get right. more. Terry just got a 24 on the Equinox. And we turn this over. You can see what it is. There's the pillars. It's got him probably a one real here. Check that out, folks. I think it goes just like that. I can't tell the date. It's worn too thin. There he is right there. That's old Charlie. 
Wow. Congratulations, Terry. Very nice. Wow. All right, man. You could have bought it, but you didn't buy it. See how it had the, that on the back? Looks they like made it a button out of it. Yeah, it was a button. Yeah, they made a button out of that. Isn't that neat? Wow. Boy, it's, it's worn, isn't it? It's very worn. Yeah, they used it a lot, huh? Now, do you believe that I planted the corn or there's some out here? <laughs> there might be some out here. All right, let's keep going. I got a 14-15 on my Equinox. There it is right there. I don't know what it is yet. I don't know if it's a coin or if it's a button. I think it's a button. Yeah, it looks like a button. Let me get my other camera and get a close-up on this. Well, what this turned out to be was a, a flattened eagle button. Civil War period. And you can see the eagle there. See the shield in the middle? Eagle's head to the right and the wings to the left and the right. The tail on the bottom. All right. I'll take that. Let's keep on going. Well, I just dug a 20, which is a 70 on the AT Max. And I just pulled it out of the hole. I don't know what it is yet. Let's do it together. It's going to just be an officer's eagle button, isn't it? What's like a... Yeah. A button or maybe a state button. Yeah. I don't know. It's an officer's... Uh, it's an yep. officer's two-piece button. Eagle, two-piece button. Staff officer's uh, coat button. Yep. yep, staff officer's coat button. That's nice. You can see the stars around the edge there. Yep. That'll clean up. Let me clean it up and get a close-up. It's kind of smashed in on the top there. But it's going to be a, a three-piece button. It's going to be an officer's coat button. I think it goes like that right there. Shank is still on the back. I may even get a back mark on this one. All right, it's another great find.